How distances are measured in astronomy? Distance is the length of the space between two points. To measure distances in our day-to-day -day life, we use objects like rulers, scales and maps. But when distances vary from a few hundred kilometers to billions of light years, we have to use different methods to calculate them. Measuring distances in our solar system Distances in our solar system were measured using the parallax method and Kepler's third law. Parallax is an apparent shift in the background of an object when viewed from different locations. This method can be used to calculate the distance to the moon and planets. But as soon as we have an accurate measurement of the distance of a planet from the sun, we can use Kepler's third law to determine the distance to other planets. Kepler's third law says that the orbit of a planet is proportional to the distance from the sun. In our solar system, Kepler's proportionality constant is the same for every object orbiting the sun. As soon as we started space exploration and sent spacecrafts to these planets, we got more accurate measurements. These measurements are based on the fact that light travels at a constant speed in a vacuum. When a space probe sends a beam back to Earth from a planet, we can calculate distance using time taken by the signal to reach Earth. This method is routinely used to measure the distance from the Earth to the Moon using retro reflectors left on the Moon by Apollo astronauts. Measuring distance to nearby stars For measuring distances to stars that are within 100 light years, we use the stellar parallax method. When the Earth is on the opposite sides of its orbit, the apparent shift in the background of the target star can be used to calculate the distance to the stars. This method only works up to 100 light years. Beyond that distance, this method fails. Measuring distances in our galaxy and nearby ones For distances larger than 100 light years but in our galactic neighborhood, we use Cepheid variable stars. Cepheid variables are stars that brighten and dim periodically. The brightness of these stars is a function of their period of pulsation. This means if we observe pulsation periods of these stars, we can find its brightness at the distance of one light year. By comparing observed brightness with the calculated one, we can find the actual distance to Cepheid variables. Hence, we can calculate the distance to galaxies up to 56 million light years using this. Measuring distances to galaxies outside of our local group. For the galaxies farther than 56 million light years, special methods are needed. For this, we use the standard candles. A standard candle is a class of astronomical objects which have no luminosity due to some characteristic quality possessed by the entire class of objects. As we know their absolute magnitude or how bright they would be if they were only one light year far, we can calculate the distance to these objects by observing their brightness. Standard candles include Cepheid variables, the planetary nebula and type 1a supernova. So if we want to find the distance to the galaxies, we first look for these standard candles. Measuring distances to objects beyond 1 billion light years For measuring distances larger than 1 billion light years, we have to utilize the fact that the universe is expanding and all the galaxies are moving away from each other. This expansion can be calculated using Hubble's law, which states that the velocity of galaxies directly proportional to their distance from us. So if we can calculate how fast they are moving, we can find out the distance. But how can we find velocity? For this, we observe the redshift of the light from these galaxies. 
as these galaxies are moving away from us the light emitted by these galaxies gets stretched as it loses energy by observing this red shift we can calculate the velocity of these galaxies and when put this value in hubble's law we get the distance by utilizing various tools and laws of physics we can find distances to nearly every object in our cosmic horizon